What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm here today with my friend Mark King, the founder and CEO of not only Trayvax, but Kimbo, which is what we're going to be talking about today. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Good yeah. to see you. We've actually, we're camping out here just a little bit south of Mount Rainier in Washington State. So we uh, had a good night last night and I was able to check out the Kimbo a little bit more. So for those who don't know, first of all, what is Kimbo, the Kimbo Camper? It's uh, something that I started about, I guess, three years ago. And I wanted to make something that I could put into the back of my truck and drive off and kind of be self-sustained for up to two weeks. And so I started working on it one prototype at a time and eventually got to this place of what you see behind us and now over the past two years, we've been manufacturing them. This thing is like a futuristic looking space pod. Like, I think this is the best angle to be looking at it from right now, but what was the the design inspiration behind it? Was it just kind of angles that you thought looked cool and just you knew what would be structurally sound? So what you see now with it, with it all angular and the design, the way that it is, it was, a way of getting around actually having to use a frame. So the shell is the frame. Okay. And so what that does is it makes it so that we can put insulative panels right up against the internal wall. We have no frame, so we have no heat or cold conductivity. Uh, it keeps the camper well insulated. It gives you more space on the inside too. So it looks cool and it also is very Super functional. functional. Well, like you, you went inside and saw yeah. it. it feels bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Yeah, and now that I know the structure and why it's built that way, it makes way more sense. So once we take a step inside, you'll be able to see. Hopefully, video doesn't do great justice for things like this, but on the outside, it looks kind of tiny, and it's like, well, what could you even really fit in there? And then you step inside, and it's like a cozy little mountain cabin. <laughs> yeah. in the bed of a truck. Well, let's uh, let's walk around it and talk about some of the design aspects of it. Sure. So truck campers are new to me. How does this thing work? I'm assuming you just drop it in the bed of the truck and yes. that's it. Yeah, so what, what happens is you can take these and use these to lift the whole thing up and drive away. And one of my goals was to be able to put this into the middle of a field and just be self-sustained for two weeks. That's super cool. So if you find a spot like we had last night, you could have left your Kimbo where we were parked yeah. and we could be driving around now. Yeah. So like hold your spot and then if you have your own property, your own land, you can just leave it up there yeah. like a little, a little temporary camp. home. Yeah. yeah. So you got four ratchet straps, it looks like holding it into place now. Yes. It just ratchets down into your bed frame and almost every truck has these little connection points and that suffices. Let's take a look at this side first. So over here are some things that I'm sure we're going to get into on the inside. This is a vent for a propane fridge, yep. which could be an option. It looks like you have double paned windows as well. Yes. Yeah, these are double pane windows that kind of open up at three stages. They're really nice. I actually went through the first prototype with the single pane glass windows and I found that they were just there's getting a lot of moisture on the inside mm -hmm. and they were not as nice, but these are great. And you're not going to have as good of insulation either yeah. if you have a single pane window. Yeah. So super cool. They'll pop out that way you can have them open when it's raining yeah. and you don't get a whole lot of water in there. You got little solar lights all over it, which I have on the van and they're super cool. Not only is it like a theft deterrent, but at nighttime, these things will light up and it'll give you light when you step out of your back door. And then on the side here, I don't want to climb on top of your camper, but you have a side ladder and then what do you have up top there? So I'll generally put my foot in there and then just climb up like this. And it, so up here there's a solar panel, a hundred watt solar panel. And what's cool about solar panels nowadays are so efficient. This thing can run pretty much indefinitely off of a solar panel. If you're just using the lights and the fan, and the fan for the fireplace, which is amazing. So just a 100 watt solar panel. I don't generally use this for storage up here mm -hmm. because I don't want to put too much weight on top of this thing and make it too top heavy. You've got enough room to, to be up here with a friend if you want. 
I was in Colorado and did some stargazing with this thing up here, sitting up here. It was pretty amazing. That's awesome. Then you have a couple of vents up there, I'm assuming, for a fan yes. and other things like that. Yeah. And we'll cover all that stuff once we get to the inside. Yep. So another cool thing that I've noticed about this is the tailgate acts as like a security feature as well. No one can really break in here if your tailgate is locked. Yeah. Because they can't open the door unless they're like climbing in a window or something. So there's probably 10%, 20% of people that are thinking what happens if somebody locks the tailgate? Does it lock you in? And a lot of people have actually asked that. If that does happen, first find that person and kick him in the shin. <laughs> but secondly, if you just take this thing, open this up from the inside, you can reach around and open it up. This is okay. great because this acts as a porch. And I don't know if that's like something we just came upon uh, by accident, but it's actually pretty awesome. You know, you can come out here and take a pee off the tailgate in the middle of the night. <laughs> and it's just, it's a nice little addition to your camper that kind of is already there. Yeah, it's just like more living space, really. The other neat thing is, because people have been asking us, why don't you, you know, use up this additional space, make it a longer camper. I wanted to make something that was compact, that you could parallel park in a city. Mm -hmm. And with this camper, you can parallel park this in a city. And with this tailgate, with Toyotas or any cars that have backup cameras, you know, you, you're still able to use the backup camera in parallel park, which is great. Additional theft protection for your propane tank as well as anybody getting in if you lock this. That's one thing that I was really looking for when I was looking for a vehicle to travel yeah. full time is I could have went with a super long Sprinter van, like a 177, yeah. but that's just too long in a city. And I mean, this is right in line with that. You can have a backup camera, you can drive into the city. It would look, I wanna say it would look out of place, but it's so like futuristic looking that yeah. it would almost kind of fit in in like an urban landscape as well, yeah, which yeah. is super cool. All right, let's go inside now. So this is the inside of the Kimbo. This I know, like I said, video doesn't do justice, but it's like super cozy in here and you can stand up. You're yeah, what, it doesn't, close to six feet it tall? It might not even look like it on camera, but when you get in here, I mean, it's, it's bigger inside than it looks on the outside, Yeah, which is cool. With these panels being only an inch thick, you've got a lot more room than with the standard camper that would have an interior shell that, that you had uh, insulation on. So before we actually step inside, I noticed that right here on the door, you can sort of see how you guys achieved this yeah. slim structure. I'm proud of this one. I, I came up with this design. Maybe somebody's already come up with it before, but this was like, you know, innovator mind in action. <laughs> so we were looking at doors and they're expensive. RV doors are really expensive. So we just came up with this this way of making a door, which is which is easy. So then stepping inside, we have a little teak wood entryway for water and yes. mud. Yeah, this was this was actually an idea that I got at an overland rally where somebody said it's nice to be able to have a spot for all of your wet and muddy stuff in the entryway. And so that's what this is. So you've got teak right here. You can put muddy stuff, snowy stuff. If you're going out snowboarding or skiing for the day, all of your wet or muddy stuff goes here. And the water runs down and it exits the camper. And so it's just a way of differentiating the spaces in such a small space like this, differentiating the mudroom and kind of the entryway from the living area and the sleeping quarters. I like it. It serves a purpose and it sort of gives more purpose to this whole entryway rather yeah. than just, oh, I'm gonna kick my shoes off, yeah. like in my van. I just threw a little floor mat that I cut up Yeah. and that's my entryway. <laughs> I've been studying interior design of spaces and there's something important about um, in a space like this, being able to create a slight constriction and then expansion into the space. And so you'll feel, you know, it's, it's slightly constricted in this zone with your entryway and then it expands out into the living area. So I do a lot of work out of this Kimbo. Um, 
this is a space where if you're a couple, uh, somebody can be sitting here, somebody can be sitting there and you can have dinner. Um, or it could be kind of a mobile workspace where you can drive around the country and use this as a desk, but then also be able to fold it out of the way if you need to store something like a BMX bike. I don't think you'd be able to fit a ton of stuff in here. You'd be yeah. able to fit lawn chairs or, or a cooler or anything like that easy. Anything that you're gonna be having outside really, yeah. Yeah, so this is the kitchen. I went with these wire baskets because, so I lived in an Airstream for almost three years. And what I didn't like was that all of the cabinets closed. You couldn't see what was inside. And then I've had that like can of refried beans in there for three years and I never touch it. And I, I have that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to that so much. <laughs> yeah, when you put stuff in, in, those, in those cupboards, they get hidden and then they're gone forever. Yeah. And so with this, I can see everything that I have. And it also doesn't uh, impede on that sense of size that the camper has on the inside. So I can see what I've got and I can pretty quickly analyze all the stuff that I need to get rid of. I like the thought process behind that because I'm thinking about the inside of my van now. Yeah. And if I replaced like my two sort of cupboards that are eye level, if you replace those with even two baskets hanging there, it would give the sense of more openness. Yeah. And I think that's what adds to the openness feeling of the Kimbo as yeah. well. You've got to kind of compromise in some areas. So the kitchen isn't huge, but it's certainly functional. So we've got the refrigerator, the sink, the fireplace, and this little seating area. This was one of the spots that I, I enjoyed designing the most. So you can open up this window and kind of let the outdoors in. I have to agree, just like the two or three times that I've been in Akimbo, that's definitely like the coziest favorite spot to sit. And then sitting here with this desk, this to me seems like workstation. Yeah. Like if I were to be in here full time editing videos, I would want to sit here. So this is like work and home. <laughs> basically so let's talk about the heating situation actually because this is something that we were using last night and it was very nice it's a cool setup you have that thing's pretty cozy something like a catalytic heater it actually introduces moisture into the space because you're exposing um, burnt propane so I was trying to get around that I ended up finding this which is something that's used in boats and this is great because it has actually two chimney pipes one inside of this pipe and then uh, one on the outside so there's air flowing in and then air flowing out it oh. doesn't introduce any uh, any fumes into the space and so what it does is it creates this hot zone inside of the heater and then this heater has a fan that it runs past that hot zone um, kind of similar to how a diesel heater works. Yeah, almost exactly like my van. It has a radiator that gets yeah. super hot and then they blow fans over Not it to so distribute so they're the not heat. actually putting, you know, diesel fumes in that. Right. And it's the same way with this. And this thing's great. Water, I'm assuming you can just put as much as you can fit in there. You could probably fit, what, like a 5, 10 gallon yeah. jug in there? So this camper is kind of inspired from the same mindset of Trayback's products. You all have seen those campers that are just built so poorly. They're constricted more and more every year. They're trying to pack more cheap stuff into and, and make more space and all you end up with is a really cheap product. I wanted to focus on quality and the opportunity for repair, which is the same exact kind of um, you know catalyst which is which, which Travax is built off of. Um, you know, it's got a 65 year warranty with Travax. I want you to be able to carry that wallet around for your life and use it and be proud of it. I want you to be able to drive this around for years and years and years, repair the inside when it needs to happen because, you know, that... Right, it's a home and things break in homes and that's what people don't understand about the RV and camper world is that things... Yeah. can be super high quality, but there will always be issues because it's something that you're yeah. living out of. So instead of having complicated systems inside of this camper, like you'd see in any other standard camper, 
we've made everything as simple as possible. These walls are removable and replaceable. Say if you did spill something or get this place, you know, if you wrecked something in here, it can be removed and replaced pretty easily. And that was actually something that this was built around. So it's simple, super functional, and also sort of modular in a sense. Like you said, if the AC quits, you can pull that out or it's winter time now. I'm sure you could pull that out and put a box in its place for extra storage or whatever you wanted to do with it really. So this is like showcasing everything that Kimbo does, yeah. but someone can get into a base Kimbo and sort of pick and choose what they think they would use to spec one out to their own ability, right? So pretty much everything that you see is a module. The way that we price out Kimbos is that you can pick Kitchen, no kitchen, fridge, no fridge, AC, no AC, storage, no storage, baskets, no baskets. You can make it with all those modules, you can kind of customize it to your own. Very cool. And then I guess the only other things are we have a battery down here, which again is replaceable. So your solar is routed into this. So it's keeping that thing charged and you can charge your phone, your computer, yep. all your essentials from that. And then right here, we've got a shower. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. So you can open this up. This is where I keep my dog's bed. So you kind of use this thing as a dog door and go in there at night. So I'm using this as storage, but when I need to, I just take this stuff out. I put a curtain up and attach it right here and use a little hot water tank and a pump and I can take a shower and I can pull the steam right out with the fan. Yep. Very, very good idea. And then there's no toilet in the Kimbo. No toilet, but I have kind of left that up to your own creativity. Yeah, just make it up. Do whatever you have to do, <laughs> figure it out. And then the bed, it looks like you have a full-size bed here. Yeah, this thing is pretty cozy. You use this to step up, get up in the bed. And these are baskets for your clothes. You can close this thing. It's just super nice and cozy. <laughs> it's like a futuristic like sleep pod. It yeah. just I it's sleep, so cool. I sleep like a log in this camper. Because with all of the shades down and you're in the middle of the woods is like the best way to recharge. And there's a lot of cool design aspects too, like just how you have the lighting in here kind of adjustable so you can set the mood and then you have like little partitions right here. The uh, the turf, grass. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool touch as well. Just like little, little minor details which just make this thing feel way more homey than just an off the shelf RV truck yeah. camper. This differentiates the spaces as well. Yeah. And you can feel that when you're up when you're up in the bed, you can feel the difference. When you're in this space, it is separated by this. This also acts as a structural element to the, you know, to keeping the roof sturdy. Okay, cool. All right guys, so there you have the inside of the Kimbo. Before we go though, we are going to be showing a little bit more of the functionality and stuff of the Kimbo in a future video, so stay tuned for that. My final question is, we understand why you've built Kimbo and where you're coming from, but where do you see this going? Like, what's the next thing for Kimbo? Yeah. Because I, it feels like it's going to evolve outside of just truck campers. Sure. So could you answer that? <laughs> so the mission statement of Trayvax is designed for longevity, inspire to action and give from passion to drive a greater love of the outdoors to humankind. And this is an extension of that same exact mission statement. And so between the two companies, if you think of, of Kimbo as one end of a spectrum, Trayvax as another end of the spectrum, I really wanna to work towards the center and make products that drive a greater love of the outdoors to, human, to humankind. And so, this would be an expansion of the Kimbo line and being pull behind campers, as well as kind of anything that you would find on the inside of the camper, whether it's modules that you could put inside of a van like Talons or, you know, uh, apparel, that kind of thing. That's where I want to go with Kimbo as a brand, 
as a lifestyle, something that you can use for years and years and you know, it's a home on wheels. We're gonna continue to make those. So cool, man. So there you guys get a glimpse at what I love about Trayvax products, but just what Mark does in general, just the thought behind everything. It's more than just kick-ass products made in the US, high quality, it's stuff that's built to last and it's done with a lot of thought and meaning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little look into Kimbo and everything that Mark's doing. Thanks for showing us around. Yeah. If you want to find out any more information about how to get on a list to have one of these built for yourself, I'll leave links to Kimbo in the description down below. And from here, we're going camping. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you consider clicking subscribe, make new videos every week, and we're going up into the mountains. Talk to you in the next see one. See you everybody.